wind turbine designers at Intenu. This is the third uh, video with a tip about how to effectively use ashes in your project. So let's just jump right to our model um, and open a relevant model for your project. So the topic of this tip is to discuss the parameter analysis type and how to use that effectively. So um, under this icon up here, we find the analysis parameters dialog. And the parameter we'll be talking about now is analysis type. First, I want to remind you that you should always, when you're wondering what a parameter does, you should always read the tooltip and also press F1 to open the user ma manual and read what it says. So typically, so by re reading this, you will basically get what I'm about to say in this video. So the analysis type parameter has two settings. The default is dynamic. Well, it has three possibilities, but we will just uh, look at dynamic and loads only. So the default is dynamic, and the other setting that's relevant for you is loads only. So what's the difference between dynamic and loads only? Well, dynamic is, is the workhorse, the basic, the most common uh, simulation you do using ashes and essentially it is based on Newton's second law. And what does that mean? You can, uh, using Newton's second law means that the, the acceleration is changing and thus the velocities are ch changing. And for, um, for a wind turbine or for your case, in particular it means that the RPM of the rotor is changing. So, we'll, keep the setting as dynamic and we'll start the simulation and uh, notice that we have a, a sensor here and a graph for rotor rpm so when we start the simulation we will see that the rpm typically changes first goes down a bit and then increases and what decides if it if the rpm is increasing or decreasing is uh, the net torque on the main shaft, which we will come back to in, in a later video. But anyway, it's important to notice here that when you're using the default setting, which is dynamic, then Newton's second law is used and um, RPM is changing. So what about loads only then? Let's switch to loads only. When we do a loads only analysis, the RPM does not change, which means that the Newton's second law is not used. In this simulation, which isn't really a simulation, we only calculate the loads for a given RPM. Uh, both for the rotor and for the generator. So when do you want to use loads only? Uh, typically, it's interesting to use loads only in, a, in an er early phase of your designs. Uh, and typically when you're not yet concerned with a complete system, with a complete wind tur turbine, which means that the rotor and the ge generator when you're uh, just uh, designing the rotor, you might want to use loads only to see how the rotor behaves, how do the lo loads look like for a given RPM and vice versa for the generator. When you're designing the generator and wants to see how the generator behaves for a given um, RPM, then you use loads only. And another very relevant case for you is that you will be doing uh, you will be doing measurements of your generator in the, in the lab, just the generator in, in the lab. And to replicate these measurements, you 
should or you have to use loads only but don't care whatever it doesn't matter what the what the rotor said you just look at the the generators num numbers so this should be an, uh, an introduction for how to use loads only. It is a relevant uh, parameter to use in your project in the early phase, but when, when you want to uh, look at the whole system, the whole wind turbine, then you definitely must use dynamic. Uh, so if this is, uh, if you find these videos useful, make sure to press, press the like button so we, we know and vice versa if you don't like it make sure make sure to play press uh, dislike and that's how we will evaluate um how we go forward with these videos anyway good luck with your uh, with working with your project we look forward to seeing your results and we are planning to make more videos but it it, it does depend on the uh, that you find it useful and watch it if if not then then we should rather do something else thanks